In the grand scheme of life on Earth, photosynthesis plays a pivotal role. It's the process that plants, algae, and some bacteria use to convert light energy into chemical energy. This ingenious process is the cornerstone of life, providing the oxygen we breathe and the food we eat. But there's more to photosynthesis than meets the eye. Over the years, scientists have discovered that it's not just a simple chemical reaction. It's a complex dance of particles that bridges the realms of biology and quantum physics. Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum biology, a field that explores how the strange rules of quantum mechanics play a vital role in life's processes, including photosynthesis. It's here that we find answers to how nature, with remarkable precision, exploits quantum effects to convert sunlight into life-sustaining energy. Without photosynthesis, life as we know it would cease to exist. But have you ever wondered about the science behind this essential process? The magic of photosynthesis happens in the microscopic world of chloroplasts and thylakoid membranes. Imagine a bustling city, only instead of buildings and roads, we have chloroplasts, the green factories of life, and thylakoid membranes, the production lines within. These structures are packed with chlorophyll molecules, the green pigments that give plants their color. These molecules are like solar panels, absorbing sunlight to power the process of photosynthesis. But the star of the show is the reaction center. Nestled within the heart of the chloroplast, the reaction center is where the real magic happens. Here, the energy absorbed by the chlorophyll molecules is converted into chemical energy, fueling the creation of sugars that plants use to grow. And it's not just about growth. These sugars are the building blocks of life, providing energy for nearly all living creatures on Earth. These tiny structures and molecules are the powerhouses of photosynthesis. When light hits a chlorophyll molecule in a leaf, something extraordinary happens. Picture this. A photon, a tiny packet of sunlight, zips through space at breakneck speed. It enters a leaf, meets a chlorophyll molecule, and the world as we know it changes. This humble photon, an emissary of the sun's energy, is absorbed by the chlorophyll, setting off a chain reaction that powers life as we know it. But how does this happen? How does a photon become the energy that fuels a tree, a blade of grass, or the salad on your plate? The answer lies in the physics of the very small quantum mechanics. When a chlorophyll molecule absorbs a photon, it becomes excited. Not in the way you or I might get excited about a piece of good news, but in a very physical sense, it gains energy and enters an excited state. This energy is then passed around within the photosynthetic system from molecule to molecule like a hot potato until it reaches a special place called the reaction center. Here, the energy is used to kickstart the process of photosynthesis, turning carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose, the building blocks of life. But here's the twist. This isn't just a simple game of pass the parcel. This is quantum coherence in action. The energy doesn't take a single path from the chlorophyll to the reaction center. No, it explores all paths simultaneously, finding the most efficient route in a process that seems to defy our everyday understanding of the world. It's as if you were in a maze and instead of painstakingly trying every route, you could walk all paths at once and find the exit instantly. That's the magic of quantum mechanics at work. This quantum coherence, this ability to be in many places at once, is what makes photosynthesis so incredibly efficient. It's the reason why plants are the ultimate solar panels, converting sunlight into energy with an efficiency that our best technology can only dream of. This is where quantum physics meets biology in a fascinating interplay of energy and matter. The efficiency of photosynthesis is astonishing. It's a marvel of nature's design that scientists are still trying to fully understand. Photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy, is a prime example of nature's ingenuity. It is a complex process that involves numerous components, but at its heart lies an intriguing phenomenon known as quantum coherence. In simple terms, quantum coherence refers to the ability of a system to exist in multiple states at the same time. When applied to photosynthesis, it implies that energy absorbed by chlorophyll molecules can travel through multiple pathways simultaneously. This phenomenon is crucial in enhancing the efficiency of energy transfer in photosynthesis. 
It allows the energy to take the most efficient route from the point of absorption to its destination, ensuring minimal energy loss during the process. But the magic doesn't stop there. The quantum effects in photosynthesis also contribute to the high efficiency of photosynthetic systems compared to artificial solar cells. The secret lies in the vibration of the chlorophyll molecules. When these molecules absorb light, they get excited and start vibrating. The vibrations in turn help in maintaining quantum coherence and facilitate effective energy transfer. Artificial solar cells, on the other hand, struggle to match this efficiency. The energy conversion process in these cells often leads to significant energy losses. However, understanding the quantum biology of photosynthesis could potentially help in improving the efficiency of these artificial systems. Scientists are now looking at nature's blueprint, hoping to replicate the principles of quantum biology in artificial photosynthesis. The goal is to develop solar energy technologies that can convert sunlight into energy with the same efficiency as plants. The quantum world is often seen as abstract and detached from our everyday experience. But as we delve into the intricacies of photosynthesis, we realize that quantum phenomena are integral to the world around us. They are at work in the green leaves that rustle in the wind, powering the cycle of life on our planet. Nature's solar panels are far more efficient than anything we've been able to create so far. And as we continue to explore the quantum secrets of photosynthesis, we may soon be able to harness the sun's energy just as efficiently as nature does. The principles of quantum biology not only help us understand photosynthesis, but they might also inspire future technologies. This insight into nature's most efficient solar panel, the LEAF, could be a game changer for how we think about and develop renewable energy. Let's consider the potential applications of quantum biology principles in developing new technologies for solar energy conversion. By mimicking the natural process of photosynthesis, we could create highly efficient, eco-friendly energy solutions. Imagine a world powered by the same principles that keep our forests lush and our air clean. Artificial photosynthesis is not a new concept, but the understanding of quantum biology could be the key to unlocking its full potential. The idea is simple. If we can recreate the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy, we can harness that power for our own use. But the execution is far from easy, and that's where quantum biology comes in. Quantum effects, particularly quantum coherence, could be the secret to enhancing the efficiency of energy transfer in these artificial systems. Just like in natural photosynthesis, quantum coherence could help energy move through an artificial system with minimal loss. This could drastically improve the efficiency of solar cells, taking us one step closer to a sustainable energy future. This potential breakthrough is not just about power generation, but also about energy storage. The same principles that allow plants to store energy could be applied to develop better batteries, capable of storing more energy for longer periods. The future of energy might not be in massive power plants or sprawling wind farms, but in the principles that govern the humble leaf. As we learn from nature's quantum solutions, we could revolutionize our approach to energy. The future of energy might just be leafy green,